Okay. How do I even begin to begin this video? We just got what- oh, my calendar still says August. We just got what is possibly the biggest security breach news we will ever get. Because what we got just opened up the possibilities pretty much endlessly. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a brand new website for FNAF Security Breach. So, if you're excited because, oh boy, I know a lot of you are excited because I see it all the time on Twitter in the YouTube comment sections, where's the security breach news? You bet your butts you better be hitting that like and subscribe button, please. Thank you so much for double checking, now let's hop into the video. So not too long ago, Steel Wool Studios made a tweet and everybody had a heart attack. It has come to our attention that our Steel Wool Studios site has encountered some issues. Our team is working hard to make sure that it's up and running again soon. And when you went to the site, yeah, it was down. It was broken. You got error 404, which means the page cannot load. It pops up with a message by Steel Wool saying, Oops, our website is down, but our best brains are working on it. But look at Tuna, isn't he the cutest? Tuna, of course, the cat in the background of the message trying to fix the website as fast as they can. And then the page got fixed. And everybody was like, oh. Okay, well, congrats on fixing the website. But then they noticed that the logo on the website was glitching out. And so was Security Breach in their Games tab. And so, of course, you click on Security Breach. And it takes you to SecurityBreachTV.com, a completely brand new website. Now, there is so much to talk about. But quickly, before we hop into the secrets of the page, I want to talk about why I think that this page was made. With this big monitor front and center, I think that this is going to be the new ScottGames.com. Since Scott has retired and Scott Games has basically shut down completely, I think this is the brand new website where we're going to be getting teasers for FNAF, more specifically Security Breach. Now, I don't know how often we're going to get teasers. I can assume we're going to get one soon based upon, well, you know, the release of this new website. But I do feel like this is going to be very important. I don't know if this office space is going to be in the game. I don't know if this is the office in Security Security breach. This could very well just be a place only for the website, though I honestly would not be surprised if we do see this area in the game, if this is one of the offices in the game. So now let's take a look at the website and the secrets that it holds. So right off the bat we can see that we are inside of a office with a huge screen in front of us. Currently it's filled with a bunch of static, but again I do think that we're going to get teasers on this screen soon. Off to the right hand side we can see a second monitor, which has kind of like the DVD bouncing logo, but with, you know, the Mega Pizza Plex. We can see a Freddy plushie behind it. We can see a fan behind it, the return of the fan. And then also a phone in front of the monitor. And I believe that is the same phone that we saw in Help Wanted, or at least it's a very similar phone. So if this is part of Security Breach, maybe we're gonna get some sort of phone guy, some sort of, you know, tutorial unit. But again, this all could just be for the website. Moving on to the left side, we have the Steel Wool Studios logo on yet another monitor. And then we can see what appears to be a keyboard and then a bunch of buttons surrounding it. And of course, the cute Glamrock Freddy Security Guard mug. Which, if they don't make into an actual product, I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> but most interestingly of all, is in the middle of the desk, there is a bright red button which has the face of Glamrock Freddy on it. So far, I don't think that you can click it, but in the source code for the website, you can see the same button, but this time it's green, which I do think means that we can activate this button at some point in the future, or maybe we can do it right now and we just haven't figured out how to just yet. So now let's talk about the secret messages that appear when you hover over or click on certain objects. If you right click and you try to save anything on the website, you get the message, you can't save this. You can also get just a glitch, someone's watching, stay hidden, just a glitch, having fun, and then we see all. Oh, and also if you click on the Steel Wool Studios logo on the left monitor, it takes you to their YouTube page. Right now, there isn't any new videos on their channel, but again, who knows, maybe we can see something soon. I'm honestly just so excited that we finally have something new. So going through the secret 
good messages, starting off with, you can't save this. Now, while I do think that it's clever that you can't save anything onto your computer from the website, I do think that you can't save this line has a deeper meaning specifically in the game. Whether it's, you know, we can't save Gregory, or we can't save the other kids, or maybe it's Vanny that we can't save, or William, or Vanessa, or the Glamrock animatronics, literally anybody, but I think it might be some of the kids. The just a glitch line we've had in the past, it's appeared in some of the trailers, so I do think that it's referring to Glitch Trap, you know, William Afton. Someone's watching. I don't know who could be watching, maybe William still, or maybe there's still some other character that we don't know about yet that's kind of, you know, pulling the strings behind everything that's not William Afton. Having fun? That's a tough one. I don't know who would say that. It could be someone talking to some of the kids, right? Are oh, you having fun, you know, in the mega pizza? I don't freaking know. Having fun in the mega pizza plex. And then we see all. Interesting that it's we see all. Not I see all. Not, you know, William Afton sees all, we see all. So it seems like there's gonna be multiple people watching us. Whether again, that's William Afton and Vanny, or William and maybe one of the bad, you know, glam rock animatronics. I don't know, but this is big. This is, again, one of the biggest news we've had ever on Security Breach. Because once again, this opens up the possibilities to getting new teasers on this monitor, which I do think is gonna happen. I'm honestly just so excited, mainly so that people can stop saying, oh, Security Breach is canceled, because if anything, this proves, number one, it most certainly is not canceled and has no plans to be canceled. And number two, in my opinion, I think we can still see this game come out this year. I think launching something as big as a new website to tease brand new teasers for the game, I again, I feel like that confirms that there's not going to be another delay. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe the first image is delayed to 2022, that would freaking suck. But I feel like you don't just launch something this big, so late in the year and so close to, again, what could be the release of the game or the release of a, you know, release date trailer. You just do not launch something this big to say, like, a few months or a few weeks later, yeah, we're delaying the game again, sorry. So I do think that we can still see it this year, I know a lot of people are going to disagree, but very clearly, Steerwall has been working their butt off behind the scenes, and that's why they haven't really been talking a whole lot, because they've been working on the game. They've been building this new website, probably getting new teaser images for this website eventually. So I think we have big things coming soon, and I cannot wait. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, how hyped are you guys? Because I can only assume that everybody is losing their minds right now. Do you still think that we're going to see the game this year? What do you want to see on this new website? Do you think we're just going to get teasers? Do you think the, you know, the Steel Wolf Studios logo that goes to their website could reveal a new trailer? Is the game coming out soon or is it coming out sometime later this year? Or again, do you think it's going to be delayed, unfortunately? Tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye.